Okay, so today I am going to be using this leftover hair that I had from somewhere. And I am going to be making it curly. So, um, this is what I'm going to use to curl it because I have a wig that I bought. And the wig is a little bit on the thin side and I want to thicken it up a little bit and I do not want to buy any more hair when I already have hair. So we're going to do that with this. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got this. I have never used this curling um, system, so this is all new. I didn't feel like going to the beauty supply. They had this at Dollar General. I got it for $6, so we'll make it do what it do. Pretty much all the curls is the same anyway. And this is not nappy hair, so I mean, we really don't need the other um, applicator to make it do what we need it to do. Oh, I even gave it some strips for the curls. Huh. Okay. So, I have not done one of these since cosmetology school. So, I'm going to briefly refresh myself because I have no clue on how to do it. Okay. So, step one, it says, after applying the curling lotion, after you, after you have prepared the hair. I'm telling you how to test it. I don't need to do that. Um, apply curling lotion, step one. Completely. The bottle saturate each one curl and squeeze the applicator bottle and check on the top to tire each curl. Da, 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 da. Okay. Neutralized. Okay. So first we are going to ride the hair, which I did not do, and I probably should have to save some time. But I'm going to go ahead and roll it. And like I said, this is some leftover hair that I had. Or actually, somebody left. And I'm just going to put it to use. It's not too much. I don't know what length this is. Maybe a 16. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and ride it. And I'm going to use, um, I guess... A decent size rod. I don't have all the same size, but so this may be a variation of curls that I'm gonna do. But you take it and you know they have the paper. Let me do this. Man, it's been so long since I did this. Can't remember if you put the paper, I think you put it on top and the bottom. And you use the paper to get the the ends sealed in so you don't have creases when you roll. And you just place the roller on the bottom side and roll up. And like I said, that is to seal the ends so that um, you don't have any creases. And you know what? This is not going to work too well. I'm going to have to put this on a mannequin, so let me... I'm going to put this on a mannequin just one second. Okay, so I got some assistance and I rolled the hair up off camera. But now we are going to apply step one. Put my gloves on. And I believe it is, what, a two-step process to get this curl. So I'm put my gloves on. So this is step one. This is the um, curling lotion. So what you want to do with this is Ooh, smells like perm for real. So you want to cut this little tip off here. And there you go. And I have a bag here to um, catch all this water, but you just want to saturate the whole curl with the wrapping lotion. 
And since this is kind of thick, you want to make sure you cut enough that it penetrates all the way through the curl. So just squeeze it out and make sure you're getting the whole hair on the curl saturated. Do this on all of the rods. Both front and back. So, um, depending on the texture of hair you're starting with, determines how long you leave it on here. Since this hair is already straightening, I hope it does not previously have any chemicals. It's supposed to be virgin hair, but nobody really knows. So we're just gonna assume that there is no chemicals on it prior to make it straight. So we will go ahead and go with the, let's see, color treated hair, a thinner, delicate, leave it two to three minutes recheck every two minutes the easy wave is five minutes normal is seven minutes and hard to wave is 10 minutes so we'll go ahead and leave this on here we'll do the seven minute and i'm just going through still have quite a bit in here and um since this is um uh, this is all the hair that I want to actually um, curl right now. I don't know if I should use the whole bottle or not. I should save it in case I want to use it on a different application. But it's only $6. I guess I could buy another one if I needed to do it on more hair. But hopefully this will be the, a one-time thing unless I have some other hair that I want to curl. But then I'll have to redo all this again. But anywho, so all the um, 